me walk you through about uh, you know what we think from an uh, digitization journey perspective, uh, specifically into the <coughs> customers who are into the SAP uh, landscape. And uh, SAP is uh, you know more or less perceived as by generally and uh, more of an ERP tool, but uh, there are various facets from a business uh, solutions and business values perspective, and uh, that would uh, you know help a lot of customers to start walking on this digitization journey. Uh, however, uh, from a digitization perspective, uh, we still are talking about the binaries, right? The zeros and ones which we were still doing from the era where we got introduced to the so-called computers, right? Uh, so what is it that now we are talking about this digitization? Because it is fundamentally still the binaries, right? Uh, I think the digitization talks about uh, the capabilities, what we are going to possess now about taking certain decisions, which would be fundamentally real time, we will be enabling ourselves to take certain decisions against any perceived disasters. And that demands something which is from a technology perspective, which needs to be more agile, more robust, uh, more connected to us. Right? And that's, that's what the digitization journey, okay, uh, that is from an various, you know, maybe business solutions perspective. But overall, all the business solutions today, okay, are talking about how much handy information is and what is the relevance about that information. Because we will still have, as, as, we, as we heard, that, that uh, about the big data right now. So big, big data from an data sources perspective, various stratas of the data sources which are going to come, you know, which, which could be a Facebook post, okay? For, for somebody it could be, okay, that's a post, okay? But, but maybe from an uh, analogy perspective, from a customer experience perspective, okay, that, that creates a lot of value to the business. And then can I use that as a referral? Can I transform that? maybe a bad experience to a good experience to my end customer. That's what, you know, that's what the businesses are going to look at from a digitization perspective. Because uh, as I said, that, that, that this entire process of becoming digital is actually a drive of to be perform or to perish. Because, because the traditional ways of doing businesses, okay, would create a lot of barriers in terms of understanding what is the expectation from the end customer perspective and whether my, uh, you know, rigid or a stuck approach allows me to be more responsive towards those growing demands, okay? Though, and, and these growing demands can be, you know, fundamentally because of the, uh, you know, I would say the nature of human being where, where now we are getting much more, uh, I would say, you know, information hungry. You know, that's, 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 basically, the, that's basically the drive and that drives the digital, uh, you know, adoption. Uh, I, think, I think for me as a, as a you know, when I, when I look at it from a simple layman perspective, uh, Ola or Uber has transformed our ways of, you know, commuting within the cities. Right, it's, and it's, it's been so much handy. The, the, the days are gone for the guys like Meru and tap cabs. How many of us today, you know, book a cab prior to day of travel? The, the days are gone, right? We, we have the app, we have the mobility, a power of mobility in our hands. We just, you know, call for the cab five minutes before you, you know, step out of the home, right? That's, that's the kind, that's, that's the, you know, a little bit of a transformation what has, what has happened to us from a day-to-day life's uh, perspective, you know. 
So what we are going to do is I'm, I'm going to speak something from an uh, Fujitsu and SAP perspective. Uh, we will run through you know, uh, uh, certain key aspects. Uh, then I'm going to be accompanied by Himanshu uh, from Intel. Uh, from Fujitsu perspective, you know, uh, creating the, <coughs> or walking this journey from, along with Intel from a digitization perspective is, is again a, a core uh, block in terms of creating those value platforms for the customers. So although we are Japanese from the origination, uh, we have a lot German heritage with us. So, so you know, we are the uh, IT OEMs uh, which do not have any manufacturing apart from Germany and Japan. So we are very constantly being driven by the uh, innovations. We are constantly being driven, driven by the uh, robustness and the productivity controls onto the systems, what we manufacture, uh, you know. Uh, and again, being German, so, so that allows us to, to be more uh, close with SAP. That's, that's something, a little bit of adv advantage, I would say, of being German. Uh, and uh, there are certain co-creations which we have done with SAP. So we, we go back, say, around four decades as far as our relationships are concerned with, with SAP. Uh, and there are some firsts which are associated with Fujitsu as the vendor, you know. So, so world's first R2 installation happened on Fujitsu platform. Uh, world's first HANA certification got on Fujitsu as a platform, okay. Uh, we invented along with uh, SAP uh, something called as a FlexFrame, which was the private cloud orchestration layer, which was specifically meant for the SAP applications. So those are the kind of the innovations which we have been doing and, and this innovation was done somewhere in 1999 where the exposure of cloud was kind of zilch, zero to the world. So those are the kind of the credentials what, we are, what are associated with us from SAP perspective. This is something uh, which is very much uh, you know, an alarming signal in terms of what kind of the data, volumes of the data which we are going to get. And, and what is uh, SAP's contribution to this, okay? Uh, I think HANA as an in-memory database has done a lot contribution to that, to, to adopting, accepting the data, able to process the data much more faster, which is really equivalent to being real time. And that is basically a, a platform on which the digitization journey is going to be enabled for the customers, okay, who are an existing SAP customers, or could be the customers who want to start walking the SAP journey, okay? Because, you know, uh, from a manufacturer's perspective, adopting to the IoT scenarios, okay, taking the intelligence which is now, now we are going to be in the era where machines are going to speak to us, right? So, so you know, it's, it's, it's something like, uh, I always kind of uh, correlate this to Terminator 2, okay? And then, anybody seen Fast and Furious 8? Yeah? So who, the, the villain, the hacker, Cypher, okay? So, so you know, she, what she created, it was, it was an example, great example in terms of being into the hyper-connected world where, where, you know, she could control the Teslas back of her palms and create some, uh, you know, distortion in the world, okay? But, but that's, that's maybe the bad side of the, uh, uh, you know, digitization. But, but yes, Tesla, great innovation from an overall digitization IoT perspective, you know? Telematics is the uh, segment which is great innovation from and into the automotive industry. What they are doing, it is, it is all creating a different experience from an end user or a driver perspective that I am, my car is sending a lot of information to the OEM, okay, and they are going to create a different experience from a serviceability perspective, right? So th these are the kind of the digitization journeys, okay, what 
various industries, various verticals are going to get into. Uh, something like what we heard into the fraudulent management systems in the banking segment. Today, fraud managements are only possibly detecting the possible frauds, right? But can we have a real-time system which is sitting parallelly to the core banking system and before the transaction hits to the core banking system, hey, I think there is a fraud happening and can I real-time block that, okay? So those are the something, you know, capabilities which could be coming in via in-memory databases. The fundamental shift when it, maybe not relevant maybe from the HANA perspective, but, but of course from an in-memory perspective where it has propelled this entire discussion about being really fast and real-time active is two, uh, you know, changes which fundamentally allowed this to happen is HANA as a database moved from any, any pure database experts over here? So, so any classical database, what we call it as be it Oracle or SQL or DB2 or anything, okay? A database is sitting in rows and columns. HANA is transformed as a columnar database. So there is fundamentally everything is in column. So you are going to, you know, your queries are going to access across the column. And then the transformation which happened is from an spinning drives, the database is now sitting into the memory. This allows you a response time of nanoseconds. So that is where now, you know, whatever could be our dreams are going to turn into the reality, right? So that's, that's, that's the kind of the power of in-memory databases which are going to sit inside our data centers or inside the clouds, okay? And, and, and we are going to have the access of the information back of our palms. So that's, that's the, you know, journey where we are going to walk into. So, you know, from a driver's perspective, yes, in-memory databases or, or adoption to the new technologies, these, these are going to be the key uh, business drivers, okay? Challenges, how do we adopt to this, okay? Who is going to be my partner who can walk this journey along with me, okay? And that's where we, we, we kind of work, uh, okay? So, you know, there, there are going to be two customers, typically, who are either they are an existing SAP customer or they are good, there could be customers who are going to start the HANA journey, okay? For them, transformation to the digital business, that's going to be the, uh, you know, intent because uh, I don't think so anybody changes the platform to being just having some fancy stuff in the data center. You don't get, your CFO does not give you the check for that. It is something which is going to create a value chain to your business. It is going to create a value chain to your end users. Okay, and it is going to transform the way you interact to your end customers. That's, that's where all these investments come in, right? So, from, to cater to this, okay, we have the infrastructure solutions, we have the business applications uh, solutions. We have certain innovations, right? So that's that's what we. Any customers who are going to get into the SAP side? Okay, I think I think the the from the challenges side perspective. I'm not specifically talking. We are going to walk the Hana journey. Okay, there is going to be a lot of questions which are going to come from the application side. Okay, how my you know new SAP models are going to work. What is my collaboration, maybe via to my satellite systems, okay, which are which are peripheral systems to my core SAP landscape. Okay, that's that's where you need a lot of guidance from the application side. Another side is the problem statements possibly or adoptions to the IT side. Okay, you Anna, you are you are going to get into the Linux side of the world from an administration perspective. That's that's the change which you need to learn. The backups are going to transform in a different way. You know, your your high availability business continuity strategies needs to be slightly redefined. So there are various, you know, facets where you have to, you know, get into this transformation journey. Okay, and that's where that's where Fujitsu would come and, and you know we can we can co-create the solutions. Because 
uh, there are some things which can become rules and there are some things which can be uh, calculated risks okay but what are those risks okay where you can you know where we can collaborate those solutions okay that's that's where we do is going to come to you so what we what we do infrastructure services innovations so so we we offer something like technology advisory services where where a customer who is going to get into the hana side okay whatever i spoke these these are the kind of the workshops what we conduct and that's that's the kind of the you know knowledge know how pass on which can happen to you guys over there uh certain of our offerings from the products perspective uh, so we have they are completely ready in terms of you know hana appliances or the same EDI, what are the merits and demerits of those things? You know, that that is something which which we can always get into the advisory side and, and discussion side of the of the scenario. This is what the flex frame orchestrator what I what I spoke about. So that's that's again an innovation from Fujitsu perspective. 